Well, folks, here I am again. Sorry I didn't make a video last night, but had me a little tinderoni last night, and um, it was an all-nighter. What can I say? Anyhow, uh, tonight I'm going to tell you about a buddy of mine named Spike. All right. Spike, uh, I know him forever. He just, he's a good old boy, you know what I mean? Got plenty of heart. Uh, good friends of my crimeys and stuff. And uh, anyway, Spike liked to drink. He don't fiend too. He likes to get high and all that stuff too. But he likes to drink. All right. So him and this other buddy ours, they in the cell drinking one night, right? They're smoking weed. They're just relaxing, enjoying themselves. I mean, you're in a maximum security penitentiary, and you got a butt full of time. You got to live your life. All right. So. Anyhow, Spike and, I'm, I'm going to call him Roy, I don't remember his name, but Spike and Roy are, they're, uh, they're in the cell, they're smoking weed and they're drinking, right? And the, they ain't even watching for the police, because all they're doing is drinking and smoking some weed. I mean, so what? And, uh, the police comes walking by, and he glances in the cell as he walks by, and he takes two or three steps, and he stops, and he backs up, and he looks, and they look at him and start laughing. <laughs> well, he comes in the cell and he says, what are you guys doing? And he says, uh, we're just relaxing, enjoying ourselves, you know what I mean? And uh, he says, uh, it's not their jug. He says, that's the best damn wine preacher ever made. <laughs> so uh, he says, uh, he reaches for the wine. Spike reaches up and Grabs him by the wrist and says, oh, no, boss, you can't have that. He says, oh, I have taken this. Spike says, no, no, I said you can't have that, right? So, uh, the cop kind of tightens his grip down on the, the wine jug. So Spike takes, he's got his, the cop's wrist in his left hand. So he, now Spike's a pretty big, good-sized fella, right? And he hooks him right dead in the face. Well, the cop stumbles backwards and stumbles out of the cell. Now, these cells, they're just concrete blocks, all right? And the doors are sliders. This is the United States Penitentiary in Lompoc, California. And the doors slide on these metal rails. They're solid metal doors, and they slide on these metal rails. All right, well, the cop stumbles back out the door and falls to the ground. So, he... Reaches down and he hits his deuces. This is body alarm, right? And Spike looks at Roy and says, you might as well fuck him up now. <laughs> so they, they jump up and they run up there and they grab him and they pull him up and he hits his eye. It's right here on his head. He hits it on, on the door jam coming in and his eyeball pops out, right? And it rests on his cheek. And just the way it hit, it was just caught the muscles. The muscles that hold your eyes in are right under here, okay? Just like that, like back in Quentin, they used to, in the day they used to cut you, cut you right here, and your eyeballs would fall out. All right, but anyhow, the cop's eye falls out, and he starts screaming like a girl. Well, Spike and Roy say fuck it, they start putting the boots to his ass, right? So now the cavalry gets there, all right, and they run up there and they run this stuff. Now, <coughs> while this is going on. Everybody's coming out of their cells because they don't really know what's going on. It might be their people getting smashed or whatever the hell. They don't want to... Look, you can't never let your people get smashed. Even by the police. All right. So, when the police get there, and they... Now, they're on the third tier, so they got to run up three flights of stairs to get up to the top. They get up there, and when they drag Spike and Roy out of there, and they're getting ready to beat their fucking ass... Uh, they turn around and look, and there's like 70 Peckerwoods standing there, maybe 20 or 30 Chicanos. And they say, what y'all think you're going to do? <laughs> so, I could probably, he says, we got to lock them up, you know. I said, well, that's okay, but don't let us find out when he comes out the hole that y'all took him down there and beat his motherfucking ass. Because... If we knew Spike and Roy, they're just not going to assault the cop for no fucking reason. All right, but the cop is trying to take the wine. I mean, he, he can't have the wine. That's like giving him the dope. He can't have the wine. 
So anyhow, <coughs> they take him off to the hole. <laughs> and uh, anyhow, they, they pull that cop out of there and they put another cop in there because they can't let that kind of shit go down where the cop got bullied. But anyway, that's what happened with Spike and Roy and the cop's eyeball popping out. <laughs> when that cop come back to work, right, it was about a month. He still had an eye patch over his eye, right? So we started calling the cop. His, his, his nickname was Eyeball <laughs> after that. Anyhow, folks, remember, subscribe to my channel, like my videos. I need a gang more subscri subscribers and likers to get start getting paid here. Come on, let a wood come up. And remember, November 3rd, the hardest video I ever made. Please listen to it. Comes right from here, fellas. You guys take it easy. I'll see you tomorrow.